Hey what's up guys, Archim here from Adam Renovations and today I would like to talk about a subject a lot of us find very annoying and that's water pressure. Let's see if this rings a bell. You are in the shower and all of a sudden the pressure drops for no good reason and instead of a constant flow of water you are left with a dribble which is also cold or perhaps your water pressure from the taps is so bad that it takes absolute ages to fill up the kettle or a pan or it's impossible to wash dishes and use bath from the same time. All these problems are related to the mains water pipe size, area water pressure, your current heating system and existing pipe work. If we take a typical two-story house as an example and assume it was built many years ago, the chances are you have an old lead 15 millimeter cold water mains pipe which runs from the street and into your home. Most likely the demand has changed since the property was built with multiple appliances being in use, bathrooms, showers and kitchens, taking up all of the available resources which are simply not enough. Um, the, the main cause of low area pressure is normally leaks that Thames Water must deal with or emergency repair works that are taking place nearby. In general, uh, there is sufficient area water uh, pressure in most areas in London and surrounding areas. Uh, these problems are um, usually temporary and they do get sorted eventually. Um, some boilers we have seen over the years haven't been changed in over 15 years, hence why they are not providing the best possible service and optimal performance. Whereas they may work in general, uh, it might not be the worst idea to invest into a new system to increase your comfort and reduce your bills. Uh, the modern boilers use far less energy, um, they are more cost efficient to run and maintain as well as you won't break the bank to purchase a new one. Um, if you decide to change the boiler, it's a great opportunity to change the pipes to 22mm copper for better flow rate throughout the house. This will involve some basic construction work such as opening ceilings and floors, but the benefits will overshadow uh, this temporary inconvenience and hassle. Uh, here are a few steps which will bring you from the dark ages and into the 21st century. Replace the old uh, lead pipe with a 24 5 mm or 32 mm MDP blue pipe. The size should be recommended by your builder or plumber. Replace your current system with a new combi or system boiler with unvented cylinder. I will talk about this in just a moment. Uh, run new pipes throughout the house to increase the water flow rate. So combi versus system boilers. Combi boilers are great where the usage is, uh, is low and the property size is small to medium. A boiler can be bought for around £1,000, depending on the brand, and installed for further £750 or thereabout. Uh, these are perfect for flats where the space is scarce and you'd like to fit uh, the boiler into a cupboard or an integrated kitchen unit. System boilers and hot water cylinders are working great where the property size is larger with a high usage and multiple occupants. Uh, more expensive than combi, but you get great value for money. Boilers, cylinder and accessories could easily cost you approximately 2,500 to 3,000 pounds in total. This option will guarantee a constant water pressure, enough hot water at all times and best comfort to suit a large family or home of multiple occupants if it's for rent. Um, Megaflow misconception. A lot of our customers tend to mention that they would like to install Megaflow which they were led to believe will solve all of their problems. Megaflow is a well-known brand that does cost a considerable amount of money compared to other brands such as Valent. The Megaflow cylinders won't do you any good unless you take all four steps explained earlier. Don't fall victim to marketing and confusion. Pumps. If you live in a tower block and the water pressure is lower than desired, there might be a possibility of installing a pump which will increase the overall quality of services. This would have to be determined by a certified gas engineer or a plumber. So in terms of cost, replace mains pipe. So that, that will probably set you back about a thousand pounds altogether. New central heating system with cylinder pipe work and radiators and all, all, all the labor expenses uh, around five to six thousand pounds. Combi boiler with magnetic and scale filters about two thousand pounds and st standard small pumps uh, about four hundred pounds including all bits and bobs. Hope this was helpful. Have a nice day and I'll see you soon.